So last night we slept in the car in the Sierra Nevada mountains, not far from the Pico de Valletta, which is about 11,000 feet. Oh, look, snow. Do you wanna build a snowman? Woo! Do you wanna play with snow? No. Not really. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how we sleep in the car, because obviously the van is gone. There's no more van life, but there is McCar life. You know the phrase, does a bear shit in the woods? Well, I shat in those woods this morning. It was a bit nippy. Nearly got frostbite on my ass, but hey. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you McCar life. Good morning, Marina. Is it a good morning? It's a bit nippy. See what we've done here? We're at 11,000 feet. Yeah, it could be a bit nippy. So, just quick rundown. We'll do a proper video on this. We've got two very cheap sleeping bags from Decathlon. Decathlon. One look very cheap fleece from Ikea. Cheap fleece from Ikea. We've put our... Um, our hippie thingies. We blocked out the windows with Free. cardboard. Free at the dumpster. Which we picked up from the local tip. Yeah, it only took a couple of... Uh, well, probably a couple of hours because that took an hour by itself because it's shaped for the window. And uh, the cushions were from Ikea? The cushions, the cushions were from Ikea too. We have got an air bed, but for this little trip we borrowed Jenny and Hobbit's foam from their seat cushions. So Marina, all in all, how much are we are we saying to kit this car out? I'm doing a, uh, so this is four, these were six ninety nine. Uh, these were the pillows in Ikea that cost more than the couple of, uh, so I'd say... Uh, She's no Carol Vorderman, that's for sure. What? Nothing, carry on. How much would you reckon? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five euros. Twenty-five euros? Obviously, uh, well, well, no, no, wait. No, because, just a second, we have to consider that we, we had mattress but if you want to buy it it's uh, 17 euro in Decathlon so it's for, for 42 euro you can kit the whole place the whole so let's say let's round it up 50 euro 50 euro and um, also obviously we took the back seats out which is very easy to do in in a Renault scenic um, but in not scenic but it's just all about adapting. It's extremely comfortable. You can completely lay out. It's it's extremely comfortable. At the point that you know what? Oh. Where you go? 